Hey there, it's Carol Billing, and I'm your instructor for, for QUID uh, 101, which is a CWID connecting with ideas. We just call it QUID. QUID 101, and it's the gaming class. So there's three sections of you all, and you're in one blackboard, which may be good or maybe not. Not sure. Um, I was supposed to teach one class, then it became two, then it became three, and I was like, oh, here we go. Woo hold on. Um, let me show you how to get in Blackboard in case you're unfamiliar. I'm expecting that you're all first semester students, so why would you know this? You would not, so I'm going to show you. Go to the school website, click links, Blackboard. That's, I think, the easiest way. And then it's going to come up here. You've got tutorials here if you have questions about making Blackboard. And then I'm going to go ahead and log in. So all your courses should come up, and it shouldn't look like this unless you have a zillion classes you're taking. But our class is this one here, and it's three different sections. So even if you're not 008, it doesn't matter. Um, in the syllabus, it says the actual sections. I'm the only one teaching the Gaming Quid class, so if you sign up for Gaming Quid, you're in the right place because they're all all three sections are slammed in one block. Okay, so you click this link and it'll take you there. The first place it drops you off is the announcements page. The video I'm shooting now is going to go here. I've got a video here that goes to the calendar, so watch that one. And then another video here that goes to the syllabus. And so make sure you review that as well. And then there's some stuff down here to read. It's sort of my background and stuff about the class that you might be um, interested or questioning. So check that out. So that's the announcements area. Faculty information is um, all my contact information. So if you do Facebook, add me because I put announcements on there. More general and a lot of them about teaching because my full-time position at CWI is um, teacher preparation. So I teach future teachers. Um, but my passion is technology and I was a technology teacher. So I kind of love both areas. Um, my first job out of Cal Poly, I was a journalism major, was a tech magazine. So it was a um, Paradox Informant, which you probably have no idea what that is. Um, it was a, it's a database. It was a database programming magazine, and then we launched Delphi, which was a development environment. Um, yeah, needless to say, it was a while ago. So that's where I started loving computers. Um, so there's more. It, I decided I didn't want a real job anymore, so I started teaching high school technology. It's a joke, because it was actually... Teaching is really hard, but I worked, um, I had a real job with a cubicle and all of that for about 10 years and then decided I wanted to be a teacher, so I became a technology teacher and also did a little bit of the other electives. So anyway, there's more than you ever wanted to know. Syllabus and schedule is pretty important. So this is the course calendar, which I have the video about. Um, these first assignments in green are confirmed. The other ones are maybe. I want to get a feel for you guys first and see kind of what some of your interests are before I build out the rest of the class. I have the framework built. I have the lectures done and all of that. It's not like I'm building it from scratch, but I want to modify it so it fits kind of what your interests are. And a lot of that's going to come from this expectations wiki that you're going to give me this first week. And that'll help because I want the class to be what you want it to be. I don't want it to be what I think it should be. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. Anyway, that's that. So uh, you won't have more than what's on there. Typically two to three assignments a week. Um, only three if they're pretty simple. Because I do expect that you're doing the reading on the back end and some research um, to work on towards this, this last signature assignment, which is called a summary assignment. Or signature assignment, same thing. Okay, here's the course syllabus. Some delightful reading. You're going to want to read it, though. Even though you watch my video, make sure you read it. Instructor quirks, we all have them. Instead of trying to hide them, I embrace them. So there you are on a piece of paper. Makes it easy for you. Online specific guidelines here, it's kind of generic. So I think probably you have a lot of computer experience. You're taking this online, and it's a gaming based class. So I'm guessing you have a lot of computer experience. If you don't, that's okay. It's not required. But I'm just saying this is probably going to be pretty basic for those of you who function on the computer all the time already. All right. Institutional syllabus, this is the same for every class you've taken, or you take. So if you've read read it in another class, you don't need to read it here, or vice versa. But make sure you read it, because it's the rules or the agreement, basically, between you and the college. And everyone's online anymore. Okay. So 
so here's the assignments. This is sort of like the master area. I will list all of your assignments in here, and then they will disappear after they're due. So the list will start out big once I get it all built, assuming I get it all built at one time, and then it will shrink down. But regardless, whatever's in there is kind of the current, what's currently due. If you have something specific in the discussion board, you go there, journals there, wikis there. Task task stream we're going to talk about in a separate video because I want to teach you that. It's not hard. Task stream is like an electronic filing cabinet. And you're just going to take your signature assignments from all of your courses and you're going to submit them to task stream. So um, this course has a part A and a part B and I'll explain all that as we go. But it's that last, it's going to be that last um, assignment down here that we do. It's going to be what you put in task stream. I just haven't figured out how to put it into part A and part B to kind of fit what they want. So we'll see. Um, this course is brand new. All the quiz classes are new. And one of the reasons I hesitate to build it all out and have it like in cement is because I foresee the um, administrators asking us to do stuff at the last minute. Because <laughs> I've been a teacher for a while. So like, for example, I just found out about a survey that I'm supposed to do in the second week, last week, or, you know, in the last couple of days. So I'm thinking I'm going to stick it in the third week um, because I, I, I want to be firm with what I have already. And I think they'll be okay with that as long as we have a few of the pages. All right, so that kind of walks you through each of these buttons. Let's take a look in assignments. Um, I haven't put everything in there. So what it's going to do is basically give you a prompt for what you need to make sure that you do. So first off, I want to make sure that you understand we have another website, which is where my instruction is. So instead of coming to a class for instruction, you're going to go to this website, and that's where you're going to get your lectures and supplementary um, materials. So you'll turn in all your assignments here in Blackboard. This is where your grade is. But the place where I actually teach you or provide resources is right here on the Weebly. So I've got that open here. This is what it looks like when you first arrive. I have all of my courses here, but you are here. So as soon as you click the gaming, all right, that's the main page. And then from there, you're going to go and read through these. So this is a news page where I'm just going to add cool gaming technology related stuff. You want to make sure that you are aware of them. And then here is start here first means start here first. And so this kind of outlines the first week. It gives you the handout to do your shapes quiz, which is pretty interesting. And then um, teaches you how to do a wiki if you've never done a wiki before. Because you're going to do the shapes wiki and the expectations wiki the first week. All right. And then it also refers you back to Blackboard. To make sure you always check that course calendar. So that would start here, and then next week, which is the second week of the semester, is chapter one. So I kind of give you a light first week, no class necessary. This one's got look a lot more stuff in it. And you're like, why are you telling me get this? I'm studying stuff. It's supposed to be about gaming. So this is how this works. Um, connecting with ideas is, is a freshman orientation class. So we want to give you everything you need to be successful, and I want to make that. The least amount boring as possible. I don't even know if that's correct English, but you know what I'm saying. I would like to make it as interesting as possible. It's really good information. It's skills that I did not learn my freshman year of college, and I wish I had because by the time four years had passed, I had picked up these skills, but it would have been a lot easier if I had had a freshman orientation class. Okay, that said, I'm going to teach you stuff that you need to know to be successful in college. Then I want to relate it to how are you going to be successful in life, and specifically within a gaming environment or a gaming career, um, or just is it gaming as a hobby, but I'm thinking more about like professionally. So that's my goal. So this here is where it says the gaming angle. And we're going to start here with looking at potential jobs that you might like in the gaming industry. And I gave you a couple of links to get started with. So here you're starting to look, evaluate your study skills and where you're weak and where you're strong. And you're starting to look at potential jobs. And things are going to come together. They're going to really weave together through the semester. And you're going to start seeing why learning how to read critically in your textbook 
is going to help you in your job, no matter what your job is for in the gaming industry. I mean, you name a job, and there's critical reading necessary. So um, we're going to just draw those links together, and I'm going to teach you some skills to help you be more successful, not only in college, but after college. All right, so right now you just see these two, and then so I will fill this up with many, many more subpages um, for each chapter. In fact, they're actually already built. I just have them hidden until I have a chance to look on them because I want to make sure they're perfect before I throw them out there. All right, so that is the Weebly. So that's the direct instruction. And this is, again, where you actually turn your assignments in. So discussion board is here, and your first discussion is an introduction. That's due on the 31st, which is next Monday. All assignments will be Mondays at 5. And so you're going to post yours and reply to two people, and there's lengthy instructions, so make sure you read through all that. And there's that. Um, there's nothing in journals yet. I know you have two journals due next week, and I'll put them in this week. So you have extra time. I mean, I'm going to have a couple of weeks out open for you, um, but I don't have anything in there yet. And then so here's your wikis, and you have two. This one's where you're going to go and give me some expectations. What do you expect out of this class? And then this is what is your shape is talking about um, this handout that you're going to complete. And you can either compute it electronically or print it out. Probably it'd be easier if you print it out, but I know you guys are resourceful, so figure it out, do it however you want. But that's this is the handout that helps you finish this wiki right here. Okay, that's all I have for you to begin with. Get familiar with that, and then I'll be doing more videos to walk you through things, um, assignments and different parts of the course. Email me questions you have, and that will help me identify holes in my curriculum or holes in my delivery so that I can make this course an awesome course. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Talk to you soon.